Hey there, K2. Why isn't Mimi with you? I don't know. She's normally here before me. Strange. Let's go see if she's at home. Uh, uh, we can't be late for school. We got a spelling test today. Hello there, kids. Hello. We've come to get Mimi. That's sweet of you, but Mimi won't be able to go to school today. She's sick. She caught a nasty virus. Really? Is a nasty virus really serious? No, but she's going to have to stay home until the end of the week. I'll huh? tell her that you stop by. She'll appreciate that. Bye-bye. Do you know what a nasty virus is? Yeah, it's a thing that's in your body, but really isn't supposed to be there. Viruses are super clever. Just hang out here for a while. We should get going. We're gonna be late. We gotta warn Mimi. That virus is a really clever little guy. He wants to play in Mimi's body. You sure? Uh, I'll be back in an hour. All right. See you later, darling. <laughs> Mimi! <laughs> Mimi, it's me, Elliot. I'm with K2. What are you doing here? It's your mom. She told us that you caught a nasty virus. And what's more, he's really clever and doesn't want to leave you. No way! Ah! 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 Come on, it's not that bad. But, but Mimi, your face is covered with red spots. Red spots? Yeah, I know, I know! <sighs> <laughs> hey, Elliot, would you mind telling me what's going on in your head? It's the virus. He's trying to communicate with us. No way! I'm telling you, those spots on your face, well, they're a secret code. And if we can decipher them, we'll know what the virus wants. Incredible. You're a genius, Elliot. So how do we do it? Well... <clears throat> Remember that class we had on ancient Egypt? Uh. Wait for me here. Do you have a book on Egyptian hieroglyphs? Hmm? I didn't know you were interested in this. You know, when I was your age, I was fascinated with ancient civilizations as well. I spent my recess period studying papyruses. Okay, I got it. Come on. Hey, wait for me! <sighs> Mimi, now take off your glasses. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <sighs> Whatever you do, don't move. Uh, uh, how do you expect me not to move, Elliot? That tickles! Just relax. Now all we have to do is decipher the code. <laughs> That's it. I found it. A tree means hello, and a bird means kids. The virus is saying hello to us. Hello, kids. <laughs> oh, Elliot! <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> Country. Cloud. Cauliflower. Huh? That's silly. It doesn't mean anything. It's not silly. The virus is super duper intelligent. He just doesn't talk like us, that's all. Come on, let's go to the kitchen. To do what? So you can eat some cauliflower. That's horrible! I hate cauliflower. Me too. Mimi, it's so you'll be better. If we make the virus happy, then he'll leave you and you'll be cured, I promise. Yeah, uh -huh. Elliot's right. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah! <laughs> Spots are still there. You've got to eat some more. Oh, no, please, Elliot. 
plant is useless. Come on, just a little more. <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, doesn't always work. No way I'm gonna eat even one more itsy bitsy bite. There must be something else in the code that we didn't understand. We forgot Cloud. The code, it mentioned Cloud. Yeah. The doctor says she has chicken pox. Oh, that's a real shame. And it's very contagious. But it's best to get it when you're still a child. The important thing is for Mimi to stay nice and warm at home. Are you really sure this is a good idea? Don't worry, Mimi. Country means where you live. And since the virus lives inside you, it means you are the country. I don't understand a word they're saying. You know you can trust us, Mimi. <laughs> We'd never do anything silly. That's enough. You can turn it off now, K2. Oh. Oh. <laughs> huh? That virus is a big fat liar. He's still in there. He really pulled a fast one on us. Yeah, you've still got spots. Uh, 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 achoo! Uh, I think maybe I just caught a cold, too. Thanks. Ah! Oh, uh, any more ideas? <laughs> hey, look. Huh? Wow, I don't believe it. You're covered in spots, too. How could that be possible? Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, uh. Don't cry, little virus. That's life. Sooner or later, you have to leave the nest. I'm gonna miss you. Uh -huh. Bye, children. And be careful. Five, four, Mimi. Sorry. The virus. He sent his kids to invade you. How did he do that? Mimi, she's like a geyser. Every time she sneezes, <laughs> hundreds of tiny viruses blast out. Oh, that's horrible. <gasps> no! But what's bothersome is that Mimi is going to miss the spelling test. I know, and it's an important one. Why, we spent all evening studying with Elliot. I just hope he's going to pass. Hello, ladies. Hello, Mr. Leon. So, I understand there's an epidemic this morning. Mimi has the chicken pox. I'd rather she stay home today. A good idea. And Elliot and K2 also have the chicken pox? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Elliot's fit as a fiddle. That's strange. Neither of them came to school this morning. Uh huh? <laughs> don't worry. I'm totally safe in this suit. It's been made to resist even the most nasty viruses. It's made of brushed titanium with inverted molecules. It's the very latest in space technology. What are you doing? Answer me! Your quarantine shouldn't last long. At least I hope so. First, I have to analyze the bacteria count. Then you'll be decontaminated. Okay, it's working. You sure, Elliot? Yeah, you're sure this isn't dangerous? Absolutely. There's no more danger. Really? You sure, Elliot? Elliot? Mimi, she's not in her room. You mean I'm not a geyser anymore? Mimi? Oh, no! Elliot, I can only presume this was one of your bright ideas. 
The doctor says I have the chicken pox. I have to stay home. You're lucky. Me and K2 have to go to school on Saturday for that spelling test. But K2 can't go. He has the chicken pox too. Oh, no. Huh? Hey there, Elliot. If you don't want to take the test, why don't you invite me over to your body, huh? Elliot, close your window. You're going to catch a cold. This is no time to get sick. 